Ukraine's Air Force announces downing of the hypersonic Kinjal missile using Patriot Air Defense System. Here's a summary of the article. Mikhail Oleshchuk with Patriot on background, photo Air Force of the Armed Forces. Lieutenant General Mikhail Oleshchuk, commander of the Air Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, has said that the Ukrainian military shot down the Russian Kinjal missile. Quote from Oleshchuk, I congratulate the Ukrainian people on a historic event. Yes, we downed the, unique, Kinjal missile. It happened during the night attack on the 3rd to the 4th of May in the skies over Kyiv Oblast. The KH-47 missile was launched by the MiG-31K from the territory of Russia. Details. Oleshchuk asks in advance, not to make public information that could be used by the enemy. Background. The Defense Express media outlet, after analyzing photos of the missile wreckage, suggested that a hypersonic KH-47 Kinjal missile had been successfully shot down over Kyiv for the first time in the early hours of the 4th of May. Yuri Inat, spokesman for the Ukrainian Air Force, said that Ukraine's air defense did not shoot down a Russian ballistic missile in the skies over Kyiv on the 4th of May. Journalists fight on their own front line. This post received a score of 26,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. The US probably see testing these air defense systems as reason enough alone to give to them to Ukraine. The Russian hypersonic missiles cannot maneuver at such speeds, which is the main reason to have these missiles. So as far as the Patriot system is concerned, this would just be another ballistic missile. Not to mention, it's even easier to track when you can detect the slow fighter that's launching it. So, kind of a speedy SCUD missile. Virtually every ballistic missile since the V-2 does. At any point beyond the terminal stage, the Patriot missile will intercept it as it would any other tactical ballistic missile. Hypersonic weapons are weapons that fly at speeds at or above Mach 5, but fly akin to a cruise missile, super low altitudes, and maneuver at all stages of flight. Within a handful of seconds, you know a ballistic missile launched, and where it's likely going to hit. So, once again, I was duped by marketing. The History of Cold War Weapons Development 1. Russian propaganda announces some new super weapon, vehicle, plane, number of missiles ready to launch. 2. American policy makers and generals piss their pants. 3. A convoy of dump trucks full of money are driven to every defense contractor to build an effective counter system. 4. The most incredible military system you've ever seen is built. And that, children, is why our 40-year-old weapons platforms are four generations ahead of current Russian technology. Because their generations only last 18 to 22 years? 20 Russian generations, a century. Now taking orders for missile defense systems. USA. The amount of things the US mic is taking orders for right how has to be the largest since any point in the Cold War. This is like running non-stop Super Bowl commercials and tech demo conventions. Russia is going to look like the discount store of arms buying. So many countries have to be pissed right now and re-evaluating their military readiness and capabilities who bought Russian crap. Not only now, their capabilities will probably be referenced for decades and cause a lot of future sales. When you market an air-launched ballistic missile as a modern hypersonic and get shot down, classic Russian doctrine of overstating the fuck out of everything. Russia announces it has a shiny new super-advanced weapon that will obliterate the West too. The Pentagon shits its pants, starts developing something on par, or as a counter-3. Said thing is put into service, ready to fight the Russian threat for. Turns out the Russians were wildly overstating their capabilities, and said super-weapon has been in development hell for three decades five. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.